This project uh, that has been conducted on agricultural greenhouse gases is a research contract between Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada and the Faculty of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences of McGill University. The different water management systems that we looked at were first of all conventional tile drainage which farmers practice in eastern Canada uh, to remove excess soil water particularly during the spring and the summer growing season due to high precipitation. Since farmers have uh, installed tile drainage we could bring water back into those tile lines, raise the water table up and help to meet some of the plant's uh, requirements for supplemental water during the growing season uh, through some irrigation. So we're here at the irrigation hut here at Dalhousie and this is the point where the water that's drained from the plots is either pumped into the storage pond up there or when it's times of drought whether or not it comes from the pond into this building. So we have a series of switches which determine whether or not the pump is going in the direction to the pond or whether it's drawing it from the pond onto our two irrigated plots. Other practices that we looked at in terms of different water management systems which farmers utilize are drip irrigation and also uh, sprinkler irrigation for intensive vegetable production. We have uh, ongoing climate change and this is being caused by uh, increasing concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So the focus of this project has been on greenhouse gases, those being carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide, and how they are being produced from agricultural soils. This is really important because a lot of our agricultural practices lead to the production of these gases. We can collect the gases with syringes and excitators, bring them to the lab, and undertake some analysis using our gas chromatograph. Uh, once we know the concentrations of these gases, we can relate those back to the agricultural practices such as fertilization, as well as irrigation, uh, tillage practices, the type of crop grown. Uh, there's many things that producers may be doing in their fields that can help to produce greenhouse gases, but it could also uh, be used as a, as a mitigation method to reduce the concentration of gases coming out of their field. This is the Rapid Soil CO2 Analyzer, the RSCA. It's the design I created for my master's thesis. It's basically a quick alternative to the classic chambers. It uses a CO2 sensor as well as a pressure, humidity, temperature and a GPS module. It logs everything into an SD card and it's basically just a simpler and quicker way of measuring uh, soil CO2 flux uh, than the classic uh, chambers that are used in this project. We went a bit further than previous studies. We also uh, looked at different production systems, crop production systems, including cranberries. We wanted to also see what would be the impacts of those flooded cranberry production systems on greenhouse gases. The project, I think, has had many benefits. Uh, we have built up uh, four to five years of very extensive amounts of data from our different research sites that we've worked in in Quebec, uh, Ontario, and in the Maritimes. Uh, not just physical data in the field, but also in terms of economics and other analytical tools and models which were uh, applied to the data that have been collected. Another uh, big positive for the project is the amount of partnerships we've developed uh, with different stakeholders, with the farmers on whose fields we worked with, with the different research organizations, and also the private uh, sector, the producer organizations, and who have become quite interested in the results we've obtained. And of course, our um, sponsor of the project, Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, has been quite committed to the project and participated fully with us, um, not just in the management and administration, but also on the technical side. Some of their technical experts have participated with us in the project and helped us with the dissemination of the results.